Hello, Grandma DC here, and I am recording on my ape man. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> yes, I have the housing off of it. <laughs> and there's the wind blowing, so maybe you can even hear a little bit of wind noise. I used to be able to in my old one. Um, okay. So today is what? Saturday? I still, I've had a whole weekend off, and I'm not even sure where my telephone is. I'm certainly not, <laughs> not answering it since I don't know where it is. I think I may have plugged it in. I hope so. All right. When we were out the other day, Mom and I were, I got this Indian blanket. Can you see it? I love this color. It's purples and beige and stuff. And guess where it's going? Well, it's going in the new little van. That's right. This is what I'm going to recover the seats with. This whole thing was like $9.99 at the Love's Truck Stop in Boonville. And I thought, what a brilliant way to get cheap material to cover those seats. I haven't really showed you the inside of my, my now my van. I needed a second car anyway. I mean, what if I came out at 9.30 at night to go to work and I had a flat tire? I would have been SOL. So, you know, I think having two cars is a good idea, especially for a single woman, you know, because you can't always get someone to come over and help you. Matter of fact, you very seldom can. <laughs> oh, <laughs> had the best laugh today guys I think your name's Albert thank you that was a sweet comment I haven't been able to answer it because I'm uploading like two videos and my computer just doesn't do more than one thing at a time so two things is stretching it and <laughs> you said you wanted to date me are you looking for pain honey are you just a masochist <laughs> I mean anybody that want to date grandma DC right okay I'm gonna open this door and it takes a little muscle like I said, the handles need to be replaced. Here it is. Okay. Yeah, now he didn't really clean it a whole lot before he sold it. My son left his hat in here. I'm going to keep it. And I hope it's a little dark in here. I'm hoping you can see. I mean, that seat is not the original, obviously, but it does have seat belts. And he has tried to put some uh, things in here. Um, I like the, the headliner with the little, yeah, you know, it's put up there with uh, tax, my kind of people. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sit you over here. I'm going to sit you on the door handle. <laughs> See if we can cover up some of these holes, right? Uh, probably will sew it in with a needle and thread. I'll figure out a way. Hey, you know what? I am pretty happy with that. I don't know how long this uh, cheap blankie uh, will hold up. But, uh, oh, 100% improved already. I like it. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, little cleanup. A little upholstery, <laughs> a little mural. What do you think if I put, watch Grandma DC on YouTube on the side of this little van and drove around? <laughs> watch the disaster. There's the neighbor's guineas. Hi guys. Hi guys. One of the things I always did like about the sports cameras was that they caught I didn't actually have to be aiming in the exact right direction, and they would catch all the action. Oh, the chickens are so happy. It's warm out today. I'm wearing a tank top. So, uh, yeah, there's a happy, him's a happy goat, chewing his cud. Yeah, there's mamas and babies. See, and this is what the guy with the dozer is supposed to do, is take all of this junk and trash and just doze it right out of here, and we're going to burn it all. That's been the plan for several years. <laughs> you think it'll ever gonna happen? I don't know. So uh, anyway, just keep hanging in there and we'll see how it goes. And I'm gonna go over to mom's and get some water cause I need to get some buckets of water to flush the toilet. I lit the little roosters out. I wish I could zoom on this. He's up there, the little pretty one. He's up there by the other chickens. So far, Scud hasn't eaten him. 
I found my selfie stick. <laughs> That's awesome. Mom gave me this cool thing. She ordered a whole bunch of these little things. Uh, I think they're like a gross of them or something. And it's like this little notepad. And you write on it with this little stylus. Like, take your meds when you get home. This is what I wrote on mine. And there's like this little delete button. I wanted to show you to see if you can see this. Do you see the little note? Now watch what it does. I push the button and it just disappears. It's the strangest thing. So, uh, yeah. You can sit here and, and uh, scribble all over it and write and everything else. And then just, boop, gone. Magic. <laughs> Here's the thing about notes, right? You have to read them for them to be effective. I wrote this two days ago. I still forgot to take my meds. Can you tell? <laughs> okay. I'm heading over to Mom's to get some water. we got to flush that toilet. That's all there is to it. And uh, we'll see what's up with Mom. And we'll keep vlogging with the little ape man and hope it's working. I've been really excited to have back a sports camera again that actually worked. <laughs> so, uh, I was at Mom's house. And I was sitting here on the computer. And we were playing around with those little pop-up things, you know. And it was like celebrities who have lost weight. And I saw Mama June and was just shocked. Wow. I've never seen anybody change that much in my life. And then I found out Ralphie May had gastric bypass and then he died. I didn't know Ralphie May died last year in October. Now I'm bummed. <laughs> but Mom and I decided we're going to run up to Menard's. Um, she had wanted to pick me up something that was up there. I'm wearing her blouse from yesterday. <laughs> we're just trading clothes. And uh, we're going to see what kind of trouble we can get into up in Sedalia. And then we're going to come right back and see what other kind of trouble we can get into today. Hey, little dog. Baby. Hey, yo, baby. Smile for me, baby. Thank you, baby. Smile. <laughs> Oh, God. Here she is. She's finally dressed. Yay. <laughs> America. <laughs> and Sadie says, I want to come too. It's like, you know, you and Sadie match. You're in browns and creams. Here's mom and her ensemble of browns and creams and grays. And there's your, your twin. <laughs> Who thinks that she's getting to go with us? No, baby girl. She can sit in the car at Monard's. I guess she could sit she in the car at the time. Okay, baby, we'll take we'll take emotional support well, dog with us. She didn't get to go yesterday. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, the no. baby has to come with us then. <laughs> and said, "Might get something to eat." <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good idea. I hope so. <laughs> but right now, mom says she's gonna make the certified med tech go take her meds because I forgot to. <laughs> Oh, and Cobbler's she, kids go barefoot. Roofers she, have she leaky go, roofs. Med techs don't take their meds. That's no, typical me. Right. <laughs> yes, did you take yours? No. <laughs> well, take yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that pot calling kettle black uh -huh. right there. But I did take mine yesterday. Oh, well, I didn't take mine yesterday. Uh -huh. <laughs> so uh, here's my sister riding in the car with <laughs> my mother. <laughs> This is a rotten dog. Rotten, rotten, rotten tot. There's not a dog, it's a little girl. Oh, sorry. Uh, Insulting. Don't insult her. Called her a dog. It's <laughs> not a dog. There's mama sweet on girl. Hawk. Red tailed hawk. Yeah, you see those all up and down through here. All kinds of red tailed hawk. That that was the asparagus bean seeds, yeah. Oh, okay. What did they cost? $1.27. That ain't bad. Yeah. We found some great bargains, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. Mom got like a heated car seat for, what was it, uh, $7.64, something like that. Uh, seven, yeah, 65 Yeah. Or so. Right. And so, yeah, we went all the way through. <laughs> we looked at everything on sale in that store. Tired. We can't decide if we want to eat out or what we want to eat. But I can tell you this, Sadie's licking her lips. 
and we are here at our brand new pet smart in sedalia let me look at it and we are going to get out and so sadie can come in with us and uh what was it one of your dogs needed the tag you put a tag on bella yeah, I should Angus. get a tag for you Angus. You said you yeah, I, should. Well, I mean, he's never going to get away because he's too fat and he won't walk very far without collapsing. But hey, yeah, a tag might be a good idea. <laughs> okay, so Mom and I were just trying to, you know, discuss and decide where we were going to eat at. And there's a new store in town. It's called Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm sure you've heard of it. I've never been there. And so Mom and I decided that we were going to stop here and eat. And, uh, and see what it's like and we went inside and the first thing I can tell you is they don't have artificial sweetener so uh, I had trouble getting some they finally gave me four packets apparently it's very precious <laughs> so I am going I came out to get my own sweetener my sevia to take it back in with me and uh, show you a little bit what the store looks like on the inside and see if it's someplace you would like to eat they do have I ordered naked chicken tenders and the only thing I could have with it was that was less carby was onion rings oh my Lots of busy, busy, busy stuff going on. You definitely don't want to look up. It makes you dizzy. <laughs> hey, Mom, what did you get? What did you get to eat? I got a child's a portion of uh, beta wedges and a barbecue. Thing. Nice. Good choice. I'm not impressed with the service. <laughs> My drink's been empty now for about 10 minutes. Would you say 10 minutes since it's been built, the drink? 10 minutes? At least, maybe. Yeah, 10 minutes. We've been sitting here, and I can't eat anymore. Um, I'd like to a uh, to-go box, but we haven't seen our way through. So, um, you know, like I told Mom, we're not young, good-looking teddy bear men. I think this is kind of a hipster place for young people. Maybe uh, women our age and who aren't really into sports. I wouldn't say Buffalo Wild Wings is a place for us. <laughs> you think this is more for young people? Oh, yeah. 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 Right. TV's going out. Definitely. Right. Very disturbing. Okay. Well. Without the sauce. <laughs> Sadie's having hers. Um, Mom and I are both suckers for an apology. And uh, the girl uh, gave me a survey to complete and said we could get $5 off if we wanted to come back and spend $25 again. The, the meals that we had, the total was $27. Yeah. 57 so almost $30 I thought that was pretty excessive for the amount of food we had I, I did too yeah and like the cheese curds were good um, but there wasn't very much it was almost $10 for that so alone um, I'm not horribly impressed with Buffalo Wild Wings to tell you the absolute truth I am a sucker for apologies though and the little girl kept apologizing and saying that, you know, they were busy in her section and, you know, so I think we tipped her about 12% finally at the end because she kept apologizing. But still, the service was, I, I hate, it wasn't all that great. I hate to say it was bad. It wasn't bad, bad. It really wasn't bad. But it just... Not for the price of the oh, food. The price of the food and yeah. all the... Uh, activity or the noise they, they've got and lots stuff. and lots of different tvs with uh sports on each one of the different kinds of sports and then they play music but you don't hear anything from the tvs but, yeah yeah you and don't play kind of uh hip movies hipstery yeah yeah music. whatever you know old people like me don't care for that that much <laughs> i have to say it really wasn't my cup of tea either though mom so I think it's fine for college students, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure young people. It's right. A, it's, a young, yeah, it's a young per it's person's a young restaurant. Person's, uh, type yeah. of restaurant that they we'll, would like. Yeah, we'll we'll leave our, our restaurant critique today for that. <laughs> and I couldn't eat all of mine. It, I didn't think it was all that tasty either. So, oh, that's just my opinion. It's just mom's opinion. <laughs> if someone else may love them, who yeah. knows? All right.
<laughs> Let's go home. Well, I hope we haven't offended anybody by not caring for buffalo wild wings. And I hope that this video turns out brought to you by 8-Man Camera and that it has sound. It was kind of nice to be able to sort of covertly film things again with a little bitty sports camera. And uh, I've got diet root beer I got from Menards. <laughs> And I picked me up some more uh, Himalayan pink sea salt that was on sale. And uh, Mom got some good bargains today, too. But that's about all that we did. And we decided that uh, Buffalo Wild Wings is just not our cup of tea. It might be for others, uh, but not for the price. And we're just old fuddy-duddies. That's all there is to it, okay? It reminded me of Hooters without the Hooters. Like sports hooters. Spooters. <laughs> I'm going to let you go, guys. I, I ate three pieces of chicken and three of the onion rings. Three or four of the onion rings. And I am not feeling very good right now. Mom says, you look pale. I feel pale. <laughs> I love you all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep up with the insanity. And uh, maybe we'll get something done sometime. Who knows? Life goes on. Love you all. Bye-bye.